Let me share with you just a few thoughts uh, about uh, the situation in which we find ourselves. First, I want to underscore the importance of the CIA. That there is nobody that feels stronger about the intelligence community and the CIA than Donald Trump. It is because of you that I can make good decisions. And then they say, is Donald Trump an intellectual? Trust me, I'm like a smart person. And so many of you have signed up to serve after 9-11. That's partly why you're all so young. Of course, I feel young. I feel like I'm 30, 35, 39. Now, you know, I was stopping uh, when we were in the final month of that campaign, four stops, five stops, seven stops. You support the work of our troops and our diplomats and law enforcement officers. You disrupt terrorist plots and you're critical to our efforts to destroy terrorist networks. We have not used the real abilities that we have. We've been restrained. There are a few signs of patriotism more powerful than offering to serve out of the limelight. I think we have the all-time record in the history of Time magazine. Like if Tom Brady's on the cover, it's one time because he won the Super Bowl or something, right? I've been on for 15 times this year. You miss weekend barbecues and the birthday parties, watching your children grow up. You can't even exchange in the simplest pleasures of talking about your job or complaining about your job openly. And it said we drew 250,000 people. Now that's not bad, but it's a lie. We had 250,000 people literally around, you know, in the little balls that we constructed. You serve courageously, but your courage is only known to a few. Uh, you accomplish remarkable things, but uh, the credit you receive is the private knowledge that you've done something to secure this country. I also happen to like Churchill, Winston Churchill. I think most of us like Churchill. Doesn't come from our country, but had a lot to do with it, helped us. What makes the United States special, and what makes you special, is precisely the fact that we are willing to uphold our values and our ideals even when it's hard. At a certain age, I remember hearing from one of my instructors, the United States has never lost a war. And then, after that, it's like, we haven't won anything. We don't win anything. And, and what makes it tougher is when you succeed, as you so often do, that success usually has to stay secret. The wall behind me is very, very special. Uh, we've been touring for quite a while. And I'll tell you what, 29? I... That's a sacrifice that's carved into those marble walls. Those 89 stars stand as a testament to both the men and women of the CIA who gave their lives in service to their country and to all who dedicate themselves to the mission of this agency. So thank you all very much. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. I get up this morning, I turn on one of the networks, and they show an empty field. I said, wait a minute. I made a speech. I looked out. The field was, it looked like a million, a million and a half people. They showed a field where there were practically nobody standing there. And they said, Donald Trump did not draw well. I said, it was almost raining. The rain should have scared him away, but God looked down and he said, we're not gonna let it rain on your speech. In fact, I, when I first started, I said, oh no. First line, I hit, got hit by a couple of drops. And I said, oh, this is, this is too bad, but We'll go right through it. But the truth is that it stopped immediately. It was amazing. And then it became really sunny. Then I walked off and it poured right after I left. It poured. But you know, we have something that's amazing because we had, it looked, honestly, it looked like a million and a half people, whatever it was it was.